Hi, I'm Millie Bobby Brown. I'm Henry Cavill. And I'm Sam Claflin. And today we're here to fill you in on our new film, Anola Holmes. Now, where to begin? In Enola Holmes, you'll meet the younger sister of the world-famous Sherlock Holmes, as she contends with not one but two perplexing mysteries. On her 16th birthday, her mother goes missing, and it's a story about her trying to find her mother um, in the midst of this crazy world around her that she's not used to. She meets incredible characters along the way. I'm Viscount Tewkesbury. You recognize me? Of course I do. I can tell we're going to be firm friends. What I find was really cool about this is that she was trying to find herself in the midst of being smothered by her really famous last name. And she's like, how do I fit into this family? Holmes, like Sherlock. And I am undercover, so forget I told you that piece of information. All of her family has some type of purpose, uh, especially Sherlock. I play Sherlock Holmes, and he often needs no introduction. We see a huge difference between this extraordinary eccentric character who we've seen previously. He sees reflections of himself in the young Enola. You've become quite the detective, Enola. And perhaps the kind of life that she has led could have been a very similar life to his had he not ended up walking the path <laughs> that he did. Perhaps best if Mycroft doesn't see it. Mycroft is the oldest of the Holmes siblings. This is my house, not hers, and has been since father died. He is competitive and a traditionalist. Reform. God help us. With regards to his younger sister, he definitely views her as insignificant and um, kind of wild. There's always that, I think, that common trait throughout the family, which is kind of like that. They're all a bit weird, <laughs> um, especially Mycroft. You have to go to school, Enola. My God. Harry and I spoke a lot about when I look at camera, what are the other actors going to do? The world is still going on around her. So I was actually always really interested to see what other people would do while I was doing that. I think with Breaking the Fourth Wall, it's a very tricky thing to do. It's not as straightforward as it seems. Unless the person who is doing it is very charismatic. Millie is very charismatic. She's extraordinarily good at it, and I think everyone's in for a treat. Tis I. The Holmes family are quite a unique one. I think the, the one sort of message that I follow is, you know, embrace your uniqueness. Everyone's going to take away something of their own. Uh, that's what's wonderful about stories like this. They are going to have representatives in, in this rather odd and eccentric family. Hopefully an, an audience will, will have the same journey in, in whatever capacity they need for themselves. At the beginning of the film, Anola just wants to be loved and looked at as like a young woman. And at the end of the film, she accepts the fact that it's actually way better to be who she truly is. And I think that if young women walk away from this film feeling empowered, thinking that they have a seat at the table, that their voices are going to be heard, then I think then that's what the film, for me, is all about. Our future is up to us.